Hey guys, what's going on? This is Adam Everett Miller with AETutsPlus.com. In today's do-it-yourself quick tip, we're going to be creating our own shower head perspective camera angle rig. Great. Why are we doing this? <laughs> Good question. I was recently hired to create a scene uh, for a client where it was a fat guy, part of the commercial at least, was a, a fat guy dancing in the shower and singing. And so I started to think of fun, creative ways to, you know, shoot a guy in a shower. There's a limited space. And of course, as I'm thinking, what comes to my mind but the most famous, widely accepted shower scene of all, which is of course from Psycho, where Bates comes in dressed like a grandma and is sitting there hacking the girl to pieces and the, you know, coffee syrup, and, not coffee, uh, chocolate syrup in the, in the uh, shower drain and the close-up on the eye. Okay, whatever. So I was thinking, from what I would remember, we had seen the camera, like the water had kind of been coming out from around the camera, but really as I went back on YouTube and I watched the clip, the, the water's actually shooting right at the camera. It's uh, the angle of as if the, the water's going right in your face. Well, that's fine. It still was a good inspiration. And so what we're going to create today is uh, a shot, basically a rig, where the water will kind of wrap around the camera and, and shoot, uh, will shoot out from, from around the camera. So I went to uh, Home Depot and I bought this sprinkler system. It was like three bucks. Uh, and it's just a, a nice circle and it's got a bunch of holes poked in it. So my thought was, if I can, well, first off, I, I plug this in to the hose and turn it on and, and water goes all over the place. Totally no control. It just shoots out because it's meant to water a lawn or have little kids run through. So what we're going to do first is I am going to take some super glue. I figured that would be the strongest. You could totally use a, a glue, like a hot glue stick, a uh, glue gun rather, um, or whatever. Uh, and I just want to cover up these holes. So I'm going to do that first. All right, from there, I'm thinking maybe we can use some duct tape. I got some duct tape for like three or four bucks. Um, and I am now going to just do one extra little layer of caution and wrap the entire thing uh, around with duct tape. Just in case one of the, the holes happens to burst through, I want there to be an extra level of security there just because I do not want my camera getting wet. Um, so now I've, I've, I've done that. Um, at this point, I'm going to take the smallest drill bit that I have. You could probably use some other, maybe sharp, like a really thin Phillips head screwdriver or something and poke holes in it, but I'm going to be taking a drill and just uh, drilling in small holes on the opposite side, the side that, was on, that should be on the ground that doesn't have any holes in it. And, uh, you know, do them every half inch or so, but make sure that they're spread out evenly uh, around the perimeter here of the circle. So now you should have something that looks kind of like this. As you turn the hose on, uh, it should come out evenly and all in a uniform way. And um, so obviously the next step is simply to stick your camera lens in. But just before you do that, I would maybe maybe stick it in like a plastic bag first or something, at least the body of the camera, yeah, just in case something happens. You, you don't want to get your camera wet. Just not a good, not a good plan. Um, so once we have our camera in our bag, we can stick the lens right through and uh, there you go, you have it. Uh, you can use this for a shower head perspective, of course, mounting it up there. Or if you want, you could kind of run around with it and uh, pretend that it's the end of a garden hose that has some sort of a, a shower setting as if two kids are, you know, having a little water battle in the backyard. So there you have it. Super simple and actually pretty short. Well, I hope this inspired you to maybe give the shot a try at some point, maybe rig this up. If not, that's okay, just bookmark it, come back to it later. I'm just hoping to expand your arsenal of possible shots that you could get. Well, my name is Adam Ever Miller with AETutsPlus.com. Don't forget to wash, rinse, and repeat, and I will see you next time.